Our first abandoned place is Canfranc Station, located between Spain and France in the Pyrenees Mountains. It was once a bustling, elegant Art Nouveau station until its closure and abandonment in 1970 due to a derailment accident. The filming scene for the 1962 classic movie Dr. Zhivago, and also being garrisoned by Nazis during World War II, gives the derelict station some interesting history. Today, Canfranc Station's lower levels are allegedly still in use hosting a secret scientific lab studying dark matter and the secrets of the universe. Number 2 is City Hall Station, New York City's very first subway station. Elegantly adorned, being dubbed the jewel in the crown for its beautiful architecture, this station was the city's pride and joy in its heyday. Shut down in 1945 due to its inability to accommodate the newer, larger trains along with not having the enhanced commuter capacity of the newer stations. If you ride the number 6 train, do not get off at the Brooklyn Bridge stop, but stay aboard for a ride through of a slice of New York City history, as your train will loop around through City Hall to head back uptown. Gulliver's Kingdom is a failed theme park located near Kawaguchi Machi Yamanashi Prefecture in Japan. Try saying that one. Opening its doors in 1997 at a cost of over $350 million, Gulliver's Kingdom was one of Japan's true white elephants of the day. The theme park was designed to boost the economy but instead crashed and burned, closing its doors just seven years later in 2001. Today the park is an abandoned ruins that is a favorite exploration place for urban explorers and adventurers. Hashima Island, also known as Gunkanjima Island, lies 15 miles off the southern Japanese city of Nagasaki's coast, established in 1887 for its unique undersea coal mines. Turned into a forced labor camp for Korean POWs during World War II, the island was known as either Jail Island or Hell Island by its unfortunate inhabitants. After the war, this unique island city was home to over 5,000 people in its peak, all living on its relatively small 6.3 hectare area. In 1974, all of the undersea coal mines reserves were finally depleted, forcing the mines closure and abandonment. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the island has become an increasingly popular tourist destination where people explore the derelict city. Hotel Del Salto is situated on a cliff directly opposite the 500-foot Tequandama Falls in Bogota, Colombia. Built in 1923 as a residential mansion for a wealthy architect, then transformed into a hotel in 1928 to capitalize on the falls' tourism potential. Del Salto lived a very successful 60 years until it was shut down in the early 90s due to damage from the Bogota River below. Abandoned and rotting for over 20 years, Del Salto became the site of several suicides where desperate people leapt to a watery grave far below. Today this majestic structure has been rescued and restored as a museum, saving Del Salto from eroding into history. Infamous Manteno State Mental Hospital, built in 1929 in Illinois, USA. A sprawling complex in size, featuring its own farms, restaurants, and fire department. Tenno was an operational nightmare from the start, with staffing shortages due to doctors and nurses being called off to war. This became such a problem at one point, only 16 out of its 120 staff actually had any kind of medical training. Known as a hellhole and rife with controversy, some claim things like alleged patient abuse, secret experimental surgery including lobotomies, sexual abuse, and US military testing, which supposedly claimed the lives of 462 patients in 1941 alone. Shut down in 1983, all that remains of the hospital is an abandoned ruins which some claim to be haunted by the many unfortunate souls that lived and died here. Sands He, Pod City, also known as the UFO Houses, located in Taiwan. Built as a resort complex featuring UFO-shaped houses, Pod City was to be marketed as a resort to U.S. military personnel that were on leave. The number of deaths during its construction, financial losses, and lack of investment caused the demise of this unique complex before it could be finished. Pod City lay in abandonment for over 28 years. During this time, it was a favored destination for explorers and vandals. Unfortunately, this one-of-a-kind complex was torn down at the end of 2008 to make way for yet another planned resort, 
The new developers are hoping for better luck this time around. Jazzland, New Orleans, USA. It opened in 2000, featuring over 20 rides along with themed areas. Bought by Six Flags in 2003, then struck by Hurricane Katrina a mere five years later, which utterly destroyed the park. Shortly thereafter, declared a total loss by its owners, there has been no attempt to repair the damage or clean up the mess since the storm. The park has remained an abandoned ruins to this day. Deemed a safety hazard by authorities, the ghost park has proven irresistible to adventurers and urban explorers, with its unique, dilapidated buildings and rides, resulting in many trespassing arrests annually. Who could resist climbing around on derelict roller coasters, right? in 1970 and named after the nearby river, Pripyat, Ukraine was the ninth so-called nuclear city in the Soviet Union. Created to house the workers, scientists, and the families of the nearby Chernobyl nuclear reactor, housing a population of 49,000 plus residents by the time of the infamous Chernobyl nuclear disaster on the 26th of April, 1986. All of the 49,000 residents were evacuated in a huge rush, leaving all of their radioactive belongings behind creating a fascinating ghost town. Still radioactive today, Pripyat can only be visited by special guided tour. Due to the radiation, the surrounding area is rumored to have mutated beasts lurking in the woods and waterways. This unique, irradiated ghost town has been the scene of several video games and movies. Some former residents are rumored to have moved home regardless of the fact they may soon glow in the dark.